I'm going to make a blue-green deck, right? Blue grin, sure. We're gonna make Vegeta the leader from what I've been seeing. We we want a blue leader. We don't want the Broly leader because the Broly leader has too many restrictions. And basically, we build this fusion of Broly and Kale cards. We we definitely want this kale. Um, what does a Broly do? Yeah, placement and drop error. We 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 want that shit. Uh, we want to dig for more Broly, so we play for this. And we play. We're, we're gonna play two full power energy, not not four. Um, and then we play blue, we do Majin Buu, we do Ban card, oh we get to play hum Human Shield Krillin, we get to play Human Shield Krillin on top of, um, oh let's, let's turn off the, the green here. So our blue is purely here for support. Um, so we're not going to play this Vegeta because it won't do much. We might want to play this Goku though. Maybe. Maybe like two of it. And... Actually, where's that uh, fucking Gowasu card? Because he digs for super combo. He digs for super combo, so we, we, we want to have at least a few of him in the deck as well. Um, because now that we know Piccolo counts as, you know, God, it's, it, he's just he's just too good not to play. Um, something like this? I don't even know what I'm doing. I'll be honest with you. Um, what's her... Oh. It's too green at the least? Okay. Oh, and if we want to play this Broly, we have to play the three-drop Broly. That's the most important thing. So we have less, less of him, more three-drops, and one more Kale. Maybe that's 49. Should I put one more Vegeta, one more Goku? Oh, you know what? I should put the King Kai's. Uh, the... There you go. I hope I made this right. Look, because we have eight blockers. We have six cards that negate attacks. We have... Um, we still have the four that add from life to hand. We have the Goku Searcher still. Because this digs from top seven, and that's still going to be pretty significant. Um, Son Goku does require two. Hmm. Is there anyone who requires only one? The shoe requires only one. So like one has to be blue, but the other can be the green. So that might be a better card to play. Let me see. Vegeta requires two as well, so it's not like he would be any better. Um, yeah. Actually, no, we, we don't need to. We don't need to play too many of them, but yeah. I think something like this where we have our boss monsters being Kale and Broly, uh, the, the, the Broly's, and 
The Broly's are somewhat generic because it will remove two of the cost, right? So to evolve into this Broly is really only three. It's three and one can be whatever. I think that's good. It was something like this that I saw people playing as like the best deck of this whole beta. That's, that's what I, you know, so I want to at least try it out once. I, I don't know the exact build. I just, you know, made that up as I went along, but I'm assuming it's something along those lines. All right. A fellow Vegeta player. Uh, we can put back the Piccolos. Hopefully we draw a Broly or a, um, a Broly or a Goku. But I am going first this game, which means, which is good because that allows us to dig into our deck. Um, well, actually, no, it allows us to build up energy better, not dig into our deck. But okay. Oh no, they are they are, they are going first. Oh shit. Well, that gives us one extra card in hand, and it does give us first attack as well. Oh my god, he's playing the same thing. Look at this. I literally. <laughs> Like, I'm telling you, this just has to be the sauce. Like, blue and green mix, this blue-green mix has to be the sauce. Okay. Uh, Weiss's Coercion, who do you want to put down? We want to put down a, a green as energy. Do we want to put down our own full power energy? Because this can KO the blocker. So, you know what? Let's put down... Let's put down Kale for now. We play four copies of her, so we should find another copy of her later on. Um, do we Dodoria? <clears throat> I think we do. It is correct to activate Vegeta's skill at the start of the turn. Just add a card from life to hand. And okay, so we got another Dodoria. But those are our only two Dodorias in the deck. We should just play it and... Try to double strike. Let's see if he takes it. Is he gonna block? Okay, he does block. Okay, that's fine. So if we turn in here, we can full power energy KO his uh, KO his uh, Krillin whenever he tries to attack and we could protect our life. So it seems like a double plus if we don't play a Dodoria here. It will be hard to place energy in this deck because you will have to place very, very smartly. I think next turn I'm placing down a, another Dodoria so that um, Broly can go live. All right, so he he placed down the broken ass band card, the double strike thing, and he's playing Dodoria. Okay. So I'm going to negate his Vegeta's attack. I don't think I want to counter that, honestly. If it's just double strike, I think I'm going to take it. Because that'll put us both at five life. Oh, 
Oh, and we got a human shield Krillin of our own. Okay, nice. It's hilarious that this is <laughs> this is a blocker. <laughs> oh my god. Um, it's all right. Now we can use the counter. There you go. KO their Krillin. So we don't have to worry about that later on. I bet they're feeling real goofy right now. They feel a mad goofy right, <laughs> right about now. Oh, a cool thing about Weiss's coercion, it doesn't tell you which color energy to switch back to active mode. So if you have this and you have the other counter counter attack, you can switch a green back to active after playing this. And you know, your opponent sort of, sort of just has to respect it. This this is high level Dragon Ball Super, if, if I've ever seen it. This is high level Dragon Ball Super. We're gonna put a, a Dodoria down so we can set up for Broly next turn. And um, we're going to activate. Add one from life to hand. Oh, we pulled the god. Okay. Um, yeah, I think the correct thing is to flip him over. Draw two. Oh, wait, no. <sighs> Shit, I just lost my critical. I just remember you're, you're supposed to attack first before doing that so you don't lose critical. I'm such a scrub. Sorry, guys. It's all right. It's all right. Um, I draw one when he attacks. Yeah, let's, uh, let's attack the Doria. Draw one. He's going to take it. And place down a human shield Krillin. Just to make it look like I have another um, card in hand. So now he's going to be placed with the same dilemma. Like, does he add one and attack before he awakens? Or does he awaken to get the 15k? Because if he flips over, he does not keep the critical. All right, he awakens here anyway. So what's his priority? Is it doing damage or, or what? Yeah, there's there's no critical here. All right, brings out a Broly. Yeah, next turn I'm definitely putting blue down since I have these uh, Gowasus. Um, I'm gonna confirm. I'm I'm not I'm not gonna stop that attack. This might be the quickest game I've ever played because we we both just take from our own lives. We drew the kale. Okay. Turn four, we, we are lit turn four. Does he have two green? He does have two green in his energy. So he, he will have access to kale as well. All right, so he summons out Krillin. And I think he, I think he's gonna pass turn after that. And a Majin Buu to draw a card. Okay. I should probably add Majin Buu to my deck. All right, draw one. Drew a Goku. We can't really use Goku, so we're, 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 we're going to place it down. Is, this, this Goku requires two blues anyway, right? Yeah. 
Uh... Hmm. We did start putting blue down a little too late because now I have to... I sort of have to hold my position here. I can place down a Krillin, but he threatens me with a Kale next turn and both my Krillins just go bye-bye. Um, but he has no energy, so he won't be able to attack me. You know, I could add one from life to hand just because I'm so well protected. But I need to keep these Weiss's coercions going. I do want to play this Broly so badly, but I just can't. It's better to, to play Kale next turn, yeah. Because I'd be able to clear the whole board if I Kale next turn. Is better for me to just play something like Dodoria and not attack, I think. Maybe. I should have put green two drops in this deck. Yeah, fuck it. Um. Oh, I do six drop really. Okay. Alright, so he let himself take it. He can't counter, so I think I don't even try to faint the um, Dodoria. I think I just turn end here. I would play Human Shield Krillin, but there's a good chance that he goes into Kale. Or he goes into something that can pop one of my cards. And then Kale is worthless. I mean, the Krillin's worthless. <clears throat> oh, he's just gonna attack raw? I'm good, bro. Yeah, you got it. He didn't add one from life to hand, so there's no critical, so there's no reason to waste resources guarding here. Yeah, I mean, he just used two cards. Well, there's <laughs> there's a go tanks. If this card attacks a leader card, your opponent should. Oh, I should put this in my in my deck. Um, yeah, no, I feel like there's there's no real reason to um, do anything here. Just you know, let him get his big bang attack animation. Yeah. All right, another six drop. That's not great. We should definitely cut these down. Yep. He plays his own three drop really. You see, if I didn't play this to Doria, then I would have had to KO my own Krillin right there. Does he have critical or anything? No? Okay. Do I take it? I think I take it, yeah. You know what? Let me see if he, um, if he boosts here. Because me adding a card from life to hand to get critical is actually really important. He doesn't boost.
Let me use uh, Golasu. He has not. Wait, he's gonna play? Oh. <gasps> okay, so now I know for sure he will not have any counter plays in his hand. All right, so we're gonna charge one of these. We we do want to charge something blue. Actually, no. We have a lot of green cards in hand right now. We might just want to charge. Uh, Yeah, we might just want to charge a Broly and then place Kale down. But if we do that, we lose to two attacks. And I only have the one. Hmm. So I can be risky. All right, we'll, we'll just put Broly in energy. That, I don't have to think too hard about that. The only issue about playing this Broly is that my opponent gets to choose which one they KO, which is most likely going to be either the Broly or the Majin Buu, the small Broly. Um, versus if I play Kale, I can get rid of one, two, and three, so they can't evolve or um, block this turn without putting energy down. So you know what? I'm going to... Attack first. I'm going to attack first. Let's attack into this. See, see what he does. He's going to use his blocker. Okay. So I can save my Kale then. So because he's using... It's actually really good he's using his blocker here. This allows me to save Kale for next turn. And to completely just board wipe him next turn and not waste all my energy doing it too so that's actually really good i really i really do appreciate that that is unless he plays this really rampaging horror from his hand um but yeah still He could have defended that blocker, honestly. Um, since I didn't beef up my uh, Vegeta, he, he definitely could have saved that blocker with like 15k. I think that's worth it, honestly. Um, I can't play Human Shield Krillin because, again, I don't want to have more than one of these out. Because they can just, uh, they can just play one of these, um, like, Broly cards, and then I'd be, you know, forced to respect it. But yeah, let's, let's put our own Broly card down. He looks at top seven. Let's add Endless Evolution, just so he knows we have it in hand. You know what? I'll put one more Krillin down. That's what I'll do. If he has the out, he has it. But he, he's, he'd use so much energy just getting there that I think it's worth the risk. And yeah. That'll be the end of our turn. main phase yeah damn he had the evolution for only three that's crazy two cards from my hand at random please don't be Weiss's coercions oh man he he definitely discarded one of them 
He got rid of one and a human shield Krillin. That was honestly the best discards he could have gotten. So we're gonna pass on the counterplay and just use a blocker here. So why is he using this now, knowing that I have... Oh, he only has green energy left? Oh, shit. This might be really good for us. Uh... Yeah, let's let's use this coercion here. And then bring back our blue energy. Alright, one drop early. He's really just using all his energy. Okay. Oh, we got our own. Nice. Okay. We're gonna put the evolution bro. Oh, shit. Actually, yeah, we should have put a blue card in there. Fuck. It's all right. Um. Actually, no, that's not all right. That might have just cost us the game by not putting a blue card in energy. Because now we have no way to play our play our other blocker without also using Luis's coercion. Or no, we have no way to use this card. This would have been a game ending card, because he used up all his energy, so he has no counter plays in hand. Five energy? Hmm. I might just want to use this. Instead of going for Kale, I might just want to use this. Yeah. Though, if they don't have Kale this turn, they definitely will have it next turn. Damn. I fucked the whole game up. Alright, got, got rid of his own Majin Buu. Drew a card. That'll be all. Ah! All right, he used Dorian to combo. Yeah. That might have just cost us the game, folks. I'm sorry. <sighs> you win some, you lose some. I mean, I did not expect the mirror match of all things.
If he has kill here, he definitely wins. Because he threatens critical, so he he can threaten an attack, put us down to one life, and then now we lose to any attack. So he can expend all of his energy just doing single attacks one at a time. Yeah, he has Kale. Okay. Literally, KOs are our whole field. And so both Kale and his leader are going to have critical because there's no way he doesn't activate his his leader skill right now. So Kale has critical, has 20k. Let me pass counter timing, see if he beefs her up. Is he going to beef her up? No? Okay. Uh, so then I only need two to block. Oh, wow. Yeah. If we don't have an answer for this, we definitely lose. Yeah, that's it. God damn it. Why did I not put a blue card down? Because then I could have threatened him with the, um... I could have threatened him with an attack and he would have had to fucking guard and do all that shit. It's like, man. The decks really do go great together. Um... I don't need four of these. Or maybe I do. I don't know. Let me let me leave him back in, but, but before I you know go off making the deck all crazy. All right, that's blocker. Uh, attacks a leader card. Choose one card in their hand. Place in drop area. After eighteen, <laughs> Yamcha. You win some, you lose some. Okay. Choose your opponent's battle cards and KO it. That's a four drop though. Three drop. Play this card. Choose any number of your opponent's body cards. Any cost two or less for the total. Adds up to three or less. And KO them. Uh, how many bro? Oh, we're only playing two of this. It sort of is our end game, so I don't think it's bad we're playing two of it. If anything, I think. I really don't think we made too many mistakes that game either. I just think that one mistake cost us the game. Also going second is kind of hard with this deck. <laughs> 